Hi, it's Wendy at the library. I'm gonna go over um, the decoupage craft today. Um, we are going to be using Mod Podge and where everybody's going to get a little wooden tray. I have already taken my tray and just coated it with one coat of paint. Um, when you pick up your kit, you may have a little bit of blue paint included, yellow or white. But of course, if you have different paints at home, go ahead and choose whatever base color you want. It's good to have a base color of paint on it because then when you decoupage um, some of your, your pictures on, it will um, just be a nice background. We are going to be using napkins. We have a variety of napkins at the library, some with flowers, wording, um, designs. I have some that are a slice of fruit you know, when you open it up, it's this round circle. These are bigger than the um, actual trays, so I found it didn't quite work. But if you are interested, there's some fruit slices too. I'm gonna turn this down and show you what else you'll be getting. So in your kit, you'll get that little wooden tray, um, a sponge paintbrush, a little bottle of Mod Podge, um, a couple different napkins, and a container with some paint in it. So from there, you can do at least do your project and see if you like it. Maybe go on and make new projects. So um, I will show you one that I made earlier. I took a yellow lemon slice, and it was bigger than my tray. So it almost looks like I have a flower in there instead of a lemon. Um, it wasn't big enough to let everybody see that outside edging, which helps show the sections of the fruit. So um, I decided that those napkins didn't really work that well even though they are very cool. <laughs> so today I took one of these napkins. I took a small piece off. I opened it up, took a small piece off. Once I took it off, I kind of wet my fingers and, and there we go. I pull like this from the back and what it does, it, it helps separate. There's actually a top layer and an inside layer. There we go. See that? So then, you would pull this top layer off and then that's a, a it won't separate later when you Mod Podge it on with just the top layer that's great now some people will decoupage um, photos on their trays you could include photos if you wanted or other things from magazines we're doing the napkins because they're very thin and it's just great so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I would do this so I've cut some of those words out now I'm going to put some more Mod Podge after I paint it. I'll put some Mod Podge where I'm going to put one of my words. And just make it pretty wide. I really like the saying, home is where the heart is. So I'm going to set that down on there. And with my paintbrush, push it onto that Mod, Mod Podge. There we go. And that's nice and smooth. Now because I've cut out a piece, it does lay down flat and smooth. When I try to do it with that huge piece of napkin all in one piece, you can see there's quite a few wrinkles. When I try to smooth it out onto the thing, it did wrinkle up a little bit. So when you have an individual pattern cut out, it did lay flat, it was nicer for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some more here and put something down in this corner. Make sure that I coat this really well. I want it to really stick in the corner. I'm going to do fun. Because you know what? You have a lot of fun at home with your family. At least I do. Play a lot of games. A lot of laughing. We're just all glad to be around each other. Um, and if you're young and starting out, maybe you're going to dream about your home and family and things that are going on. So I like dream. Everybody should have a dream, a goal. Dream big. I like that too. So I'm just adding it on. If you can see, my, my tray is green. I try to take blue with a little dot of yellow to make um, a more of a teal color because some of the words in the napkin were more teal. I didn't quite make it. It didn't come out as much as I wanted. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and put some on this side. So once I put all my words on that I want, or in the floral napkins, if I've cut out all the flowers that I want, um, and just decided how I'm gonna place them, that means now that I am ready to coat it one time right over the top. Um, there we go, imagine. There we go. 
there. This sponge is great because once you put it on, this is how you can make sure that it's really down by sponging. Sometimes you push it in with the corner of your sponge. There you go. It does wrinkle up just a teeny weeny bit some places. So not bad. Um, you know, this is pretty smooth, pretty quiet looking. I really like that. I had a mermaid napkin and I like the edging so I cut it off. And what I'm gonna do is put it on my sides. So I'm gonna put some of this on the inside. On that. And on the top. I'm gonna make sure that that's coated. And on the back side. And then I'm gonna put it on and fold it over. There we go. So, here we go. And I think I like the way the bumps go this way. It's not quite as long as my tray, but it's pretty good. It's close. So I'm going to put it there. I think I'm going to put it as low as I can. There we go. And then fold it. Make sure I'm touching that top all along before I fold it over onto the back. And I'll take some of this Mod Podge and do that top layer right away because I've got it. There we go. Now these napkins are thin. If you start to paint with the Mod Podge and they kind of are squishing around a little bit, be careful because if you keep paint pushing and painting, you might tear them. But the good thing also about this is if you tear it, I've just torn a piece of another piece of napkin off and put the same colored piece right there and you can hardly tell. So if you can lay it right back down, that's good. So, so you're going to want to coat this whole tray with Mod Podge when you're done. I'm going to do this side now too. So I hope my Mod Podge, I have enough. I've been using this bottle for a while. So you should have plenty with your bottle. Um, to do this one project. So, there we go. In there. And then a little bit on the outside. So you can either pour your Mod Podge right on your, pro your tray or on your ooh, paint sponge. It's either way. And then once again, I'm going to make sure that my um, my circles are this way instead of upside down. I'm going to face them up way. I'm actually going to turn it so I can see better. And put it mainly centered. It's not all the way to the end, and that's okay. Oop, I'm a little off centered. And still, that's okay. I'm not that fussy. It still adds a little pop of color. There we go. So now, we're going to mod podge this side. And that seals it in. So these little trays can be used, I think, you know, like on a small side table or on top of a bureau if you have a really great design that goes with a room. Um, you can drop your keys in it or a wallet at the end of the day just to have a place that you know it's um, easy to find the next day. <laughs> Mine would be keys because I would tend to misplace my keys. Um, but it will take overnight for this to dry. And when you paint your tray, you're gonna wait till that tray is dry too. So make sure that might you might wanna paint it and wait an hour and see if the paint is dry because you don't wanna be smearing paint all around on this either. So there's that. So now, oh, well, actually I can just do this because I'm, I'm finished. If I had flowers, I could put flowers on the sides, on the ends, on the bottom. You don't have to put words. I just grabbed the word napkin because those were just delivered in the mail today. And I thought that was pretty cool to have one that we could do wording with. On the background of the words, it almost looks like there's a, um, I don't know if you can see that, like a wood grain pattern in the background of those lettering. So maybe you could just cut it so that it shows all of that too. So it's up to you. It's, Once you feel, I think this is a good beginning project. And once you see how it's done, um, I've done little boxes before where I have decoupaged pictures, photos on it. You just have to do a couple good layers of your Mod Podge afterwards to really seal it in 
and make a um, you know a good film on the top and then let it dry so there we go whoops let me see now when I'm done I do want my my paint strokes to be smooth so <laughs> I'm gonna go that way there we go make sure there's no clumps anywhere and it will dry clear but um, I'm trying to make my paint strokes go in the same direction little heart there. Some of these trays have smooth handles, some have hearts, some are square. A little variety, you don't know what you get, but it's a fun project. There we go. I'm going to also do the outsides. So there, I think I'm going to end after this side just so that you have the gist of it. And um, the next day after it's dry, you might decide you need one more coat of that Mod Podge. Go right ahead, maybe even just the bottom of the inside of the tray could use another coat, but it will eventually dry and be clear and be pretty hard. Um, so you get a couple ideas going right there, along with use your imagination if you get um, different printed. We'll give you a different couple prints of napkins to choose from, and it's just, it's really fun. It's a nice little project. I hope you enjoy. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.